We know we also will get a quick burial. In terms of that, man. Yo, people, them. Yo, people, them. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. How are you, how are you, how are you? We know we us all get equipped with real you. Treatment season up. I'm good, man. Steven, I'm good. Hope you're good, hope you're good. Waiting for my guest to come on live now. We know we us all get equipped with real you. There's courts. Yo, courts. Where's courts? We're waiting for my man to come on live now. Mmm, Daps. What are you saying, Daps? Calm. I had to chop off the big beard thing, man. Daps, man. You got the big beard thing. Me, like, little goatee. Little goatee there. Let me leave the little goatee there, you get me? Yo, Kiki in the building, you know? Kiki, no, I thought Kiki only comes on at night time, you know? But Kiki's really here. Let me wait for my guy. Hey, Coots. Mm, yeah, that's you got the big thing. Uh, you man, don't forget to check out Daps's thing as well. Get me? Daps has got some big ballers on his thing too. So make sure you go and check out his page and that. Hey, right, Dave, Dave. Uh, court said he was ready, you know. Dave, send this to courts. Have a good day too. Mm, Kiki from early locked in, you know. I thought Kiki only comes in at night, you know. But we're there, Kiki, we're there. Yeah, make sure you check out the VIP crew page as well. Some talented singers, rappers, they're all there. Amazing talent. Bon, like, Bon, you see, Courtney said he was ready. Like, it's even three minutes past. Like, Courtney said to me, like, I'm ready. So I'm even waiting for Courtney now. Yo, like, Courtney, where are you? Like, where are you? Yeah, you know the talent show today. Get me a talent show. Tell your friend to tell a friend. We move. I'm good, though. What? Courtney really said he was ready, you know? Like, Courtney, like, where are you? Like, big up. Colder in the building, Barney, Dave. Where's Ant? Don't forget Colder Sports. Go and look up that page too. No, Barney. Listen, Dave. Courtney messaged me, said he was ready, like, I said, yeah, seven minutes. Now, it's even four minutes past. Like, Courtney, we really need to move, Courtney. No, court, like, court. Oh, yeah, 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 he's here, he's here, he's here, he's here. Yo, of course, like... <laughs> <laughs> we say... Hey, bro. What you say, of course? No, I'm blessed. What are you telling me, man? You good? 
I'm good, man. I'm just, yeah, man. It's all good. It's all good. Um, you just started, you started training it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it weren't like in groups today. It was like a yeah. few of us, but like I think we start officially tomorrow, innit? Training okay. in groups tomorrow. Okay, what was mm. it today? Just testing and that? No, I'm not even testing. I just want to session with Ez. I've done a session with Ez and um, Keenan Davis. Okay, yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Just the three of us, innit? We just want a session with a gaffer today. Okay, and how was it? It was calm, man. Yeah? Yeah, it was calm. It was a good session. Me, yeah, man. Talk to me through this um, quarantine period. Like, obviously, when you was off, like, what was you doing? What was you doing? How did you get by? Bro, it was just, um, at the beginning, I was just chilling, I'm not going to lie, I was just cooling off. Mm. And then, um, obviously, we started to, we had to, like, train individually, just to, like, yeah. keep fit, because we didn't know. It's been some time in it since, since we knew, like, when the season was going to come back or not. Back. So, um, yeah. obviously, the, the sports, uh, the fitness coaches in that ball got in contact with, man, and, and they were just, like, um, obviously, here's your program, running program and that. So obviously I had to, to like train and, and continue like running and keeping fit. And obviously I got a, a pattern like a like a little gym set up in my house, isn't it? Yeah. So like obviously I'm I'm buzzing. I did that car. I would have been like mad bored. And you know like just running is just like continuous running is just dead, isn't it? And like obviously. Balls, like, yeah, balls, you, know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So now I go like the gym. I'm like I can, I can do weights and stuff like that, innit? So it was good. And then bro, like when I wasn't doing that, I was just um. I got, I got a little studio set up in my house as well, innit? Jesus! You know, you get me? So, um, I was just, I was, I was, I was we making tracks in that, bro. Like, me and my boy and my little brother. Yeah. We making tracks in that, man. But I yeah. heard your latest one, still. Yeah. Yeah, good, yeah, good, yeah, yeah, good, yeah, good, yeah, good, yeah, yeah. Obviously, for the people that don't know, but let's take it back first before we get into the music and that. Obviously, sure. for the people that don't, don't know you, like, just tell them a bit about yourself and where you grew up, a bit about your background and how you started playing ball. Okay, yeah, well, I started ball from, like, mad early. Yeah. I was at, a, like, a, um, a Sunday league team, um, Lakeview. Mm. Lakeview, based in, like, East London. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, obviously, I live, I live like, Chaddle Heath. Chaddle Heath, I grew up in, like, Chaddle Heath. But, um, yeah, I was at Lakeview for, like, a few seasons and then got scouted uh, by West Ham, innit? Yeah. Was, like, what, under, like, eight? I was, like, eight. I went to... To sign for West Ham on uh, eight, so I played uh, at West Ham like, under nines up until under sixteens. Yeah. Then uh, got released, didn't get a scholarship. I was devastated because obviously West Ham was all I knew in it because I was yeah, in there since so I was like eight, and so I was I was devastated. And then obviously I was just just scrambling for a scholar. Bro. I remember these times as well. I was like growing, I was shooting up. I was always small back in the yeah. day, and then. Like during the period, during the time where people were getting scholarships and that, that's when I started to grow. And then, um, like I had Osgood, you know Osgood's like yeah, 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 pain yeah. in your knees, isn't it? So mm. obviously I've just been just been released from West Ham and like, I'm injured with my Osgood. Like, my body's growing, but um, I'm thinking like I need a scholar. So yeah. uh, one agent, Leon Anderson, he took me and my boy, my best friend Josh, to um, we went to Leeds on trial, isn't it? But obviously I've gone to Leeds on trial, knowing that my knees are matched, but I'm just like forcing it, trying to get a, trying to get a scholarship here and trying to impress. So I remember when I went up there and mate, I wasn't, I, I weren't ready for, for like training and that. And obviously the standard was decent as well. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I think Leeds were in the champ these times and West Ham were in the Prem. So I was thinking, I know I didn't really know, I was young, I didn't really know about champ and Prem. I thought yeah. like, the boys playing champ were going to be like dead, but the standard was good. So I've gone to training now, bearing in mind my knees are mashed and I'm just not ready to train, not fit or not. So I went there and it was just, it was just dead in it. Like. But obviously, when I look back at it now, it was bouncing it. Me and my boy Josh laugh about it to this day in it. So I went there. Obviously, it didn't work out. Come back to West Ham, and then obviously I, I, just, I was like, I can't even, I can't even fool trying to get a scholar right now. I got get myself yeah. fit. So I did that for like a couple of weeks, and then I went to, um, I went on trial to, to West Brom, and bro, like it was just. Like, I was, I was there, didn't it? I was there, I wasn't ready. It was, again, same thing. Standard was mad. And, like, I'm in the process of my body growing. And, like, you know what I'm so, like, I weren't, like, I weren't quit. I weren't strong. I weren't, like, sharp or nothing. So, I, I felt that hard. And, like, just the whole of, like, like I said, I was at West Ham from young. So, the boys at West Ham were, like, they were, like, my boys, who I knew. And then when I went to West Brom, it's like a complete another city. And, mm. like... Like growing up, I'd, I'd go to the other cities to play, but I wouldn't actually chill there and, yeah, you, know, of course. you know what I'm saying? So that was all weird as well. So that didn't work out. 
And then it was weird, didn't it? I went, like, come back to West Ham, and then a few weeks later, I went to Birmingham City. Yeah. Um, went to Birmingham City, so yeah, back up, back up more. And then, um, bro, I loved it. Like, it was just things that like, clicked, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Loved it. And then, like, they, they showed me mad love as well from the jump. So, obviously, I, yeah, Sam must call it ASAP there. And then I went from loving it there to, to, to hating it, like, you know, just being away from home. Oh. Like, it was just, it was just dead. Like, was he, was he, was he up, um, up in Diggs? I was in Diggs, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I was in Diggs, like, obviously, like, the people I was staying with were, were nice, do you know what I mean? Yeah. They weren't, like, family, do you know what I'm saying? And it was just all new to me, innit? So, and, um, so I was, I was there, literally, obviously, scholarships for two years, right? But I was, I was only there for, like, six months. I was mm. only there for six months because I just, like, couldn't do it, man. I was like, yeah. well, this, this is, like, this is not for me. So that's when, obviously, I told the boys on my team, look, I'm, I'm leaving. And they were, they were baffed, like, what? Yeah. Only six months into your scholar, like, it's chill, like, do you know what I mean? But um, I said, no, nah, I'm leaving. And then that's when I went, I said, I'm going to Wickham Wanderers in League Two. Yeah. So, like, that's when I think, I think Birmingham were in the Prem these times as well, like, back in the day. Yeah. And then I said to my boys, I'm going to League Two, like, signing for League Two. And then they were like, what do you, what do you mean? Like, yeah, and I said, look, man, I said, look, I just want to go back to, like, like close, it's closer to London than High Wickham. It's mm. not far from, from where I was staying. And, bro, all my boys were there. Like, my two best friends, like, today were, were in the squad, were in the... Um, Youth team there, uh, Romario and Josh. So I was like, yo, it's a no brainer. Let me go there and just, you know what I mean? Like, I'm yeah. young, so I want to just catch plants and just enjoy yeah, my football. Yeah, again, it's, it's normal so. when you're young, you just want to be around your friends. Like, where your friends exactly, are, yeah. man. Exactly. So, and I wasn't too far from home, so I could go home all the time. So I went there now, and then, like I say, bro, it was, just, it was my best friends every day. Like, this thing, mm. all going back to, they, they were staying in um, some little village, like some old woman called Chrissy. <laughs> yeah. It was, um, it was where she she, she she owned a pub in it in the village, bro. Like, and on top of her pub, there was like rooms. She had about like, eight rooms there, and like, all the boys would stay. And I was just chilling there with like my boy, my two, my two best friends, and it was just it was just good fun in it. And then um, at Wickham, they had like they went into administration, so they had to like cut the um cut the academy. Do you know what I'm saying? Academy, yeah. All there was left, so they cut the academy and the youth team. So all there was left was just the first team. Okay. But obviously, I was like obviously lucky enough to get. They offered four of us from the uh, youth team professional contracts, yeah. and obviously lucky enough, I was one of them. So I was like, what now, seventeen, and I was like a pro with the first team at Wickham in it. Yeah. So started playing first team, made my debut when I was seventeen, League Two, and then um, under a manager uh, Gary Woodock, and then um, yeah, from then, as a young boy playing seventeen-year-old yeah. like, playing league football, you're, you're gonna get that like, interest in it. So. Yeah. That's when like Wolves um Wolves come in for me, bought me. Um so I done like so I I, I must have I made my debut like halfway through the, the, the my, my first season and then at the at the um and in the next season I played uh I played like half of the season in January, that's when Wolves bought me. Do you get me? Yeah. yeah, so I went from obviously Wickham to Wolves and then yeah, I had a few had a few um, seasons at Wolves, but at the beginning I went on loan to to, to, to um, Gillingham. Yeah. Went on loan to Gillingham for like six months, like done done well there. And then obviously at the time Wolves were struggling, innit? so manager Kenny Jacket just called me back. And then bro, I like, went went back, and then I um played for Wolves innit? when I was like what eighteen, yeah. and like I was I made my debut eighteen Wolves in the champ. And I was, I was playing that position, I was playing left back, bro. I remember, like, my debut for Wolves, bro, was so techy, man. It was so hard. Um, Sheffield Wednesday away. It's a hard stadium to go to, bro. Like, noisy, noisy. But noisy, bro. I was up against, you know, where's the drink there? Oh, yeah, yeah, the, 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 what's it called? The Dutch player. He was at Madrid and, bro. Yeah, he, yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, like, he gave me the run around that game, bro. <laughs> run around, bro. If you did it, bro, I was like, I was 18, I was tall, I was leggy. Like, my man was small, sharp, nimble, mm -hmm. like, and, bro, like, the pitch as well, like, it was during, it was, like, January time as well, so the pitch was, like, mad hard, and I don't know why, yeah. there was, like, big holes in the pitch. Like, I was yeah. thinking, no, it's going to be a long day, if I'm going in. But, um, yeah. we ended up getting a result. I think we won, yeah. like, last-minute goal. Um, Leon Clark scored a last-minute goal, bro. Um, but we won 1-0, so, like, obviously... I had I had a decent game. I done I done a few decent things. But well, obviously it was just a, it was a tough game for me, innit? But obviously we got the we got the win. And then from there I just played like I just kept on growing. I left back. How long? How long? 
How long into your um your career at Wolves that you thought like obviously you said you played a couple of games and that that you thought raw like I'm actually ready for this league now like yeah no but it was literally after like the it was like after like the fifth or sixth game I thought yeah, oh, yeah man, I've I've kind of I'm kind of clocking it do you know what I'm saying yeah and even at left back I wasn't even a left back at these times I used to hate when managers put me left back honestly man when the manager. Put, it's a left back, man. <laughs> long, but, do you know what I mean? Because you know, know what? In a champ, in a champ, yeah. Like in the prem, you got wingers that will run at you, like. But mm. in a, it's more like football in the prem, innit? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Movements and but in in the champ, I think you got you got more players that that when they want to at you, they just get the ball and just keep running, running at you, bro. This one's about West and Drake play, bro. That game. He deeped it from, from the first time he got at me. He deeped it. You know what? He said, yo, I got this guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> he probably knew I was young and that. You know what I mean? So, so what? Do you, like, you, see, like, you see them situations? Obviously, like, obviously, you played in the Prem now as well. Like, yeah. You played against a lot of great players and that. Mm. So when, when, what's it like mentally when a, a winger's past you or a striker you know, keeps taking you on or he does something? Like, what's it like? Do you, do you say, listen, I have to get tired or let me step away, back off? Like, what is it, like? Um, bro, you just got to get physical. I'll be real. Like, yeah. like, obviously, I'm a big guy now, isn't it? So, when I play against strikers that are, um, that are good, obviously, no one likes to get, like, grabbed up and roughed up. Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? That's probably mm. me being from, like, do you know what I'm saying, East or whatever. Yeah. And I'm just, like, obviously, I'm just ready for, like, a battle, isn't it? So, like, mm. and I, I know, like, strikers, they don't want to get, touched and they don't want to get yeah, grabbed and they don't want no one coming through the back of them and do you know what I'm saying so like you just gotta just, just get like you say get tight rough them up from yeah. early let them know from early see when you go exactly. up the head and just hit them boom <laughs> so let them know they're in for a game yeah trust me bro trust me trust nah, me man. from then yeah you played at Wolves and that yeah played at Wolves got and then, um, appearances and that yeah, had a when few, did the when had a few the, decent when did the Villa um, situation come about yeah, yeah. So I was at I was at Wolves for like what four seasons. It was also four seasons, and then um, obviously yeah. So like my last season, that was when we got that was like the, the championship team that won the league with yeah crazy amount of points. You know what I mean? That team was serious. And then um, but I, was, I wasn't playing too tough. Like me and the manager, like this is a whole long story, man. Me and the manager yeah. had like a, a weird relationship, man. Like at the yeah. beginning, he was he was like proper proper feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like proper feeling me and then mm. bro, like, I don't want to get into it. It's all long. Like, the guys you look mad still. But um we had, we had our problem. <laughs> we had our boys, Paul Giga is long from but um yeah we had our problems and then um yeah I just you know you can't wait around for too long not playing games. You need to go and play, you know what I'm saying? So, that's when um in January I had a few, I had an interest for from quite a few clubs. Like I was I was I met the manager from flipping West Brom, uh, Darren Moore, like yeah. Frank Lampard. When he was at Derby, he was calling my agent, and then mm. just like a few, like few other clubs in the champ were, were, were on doing something. But like Villa were the ones that were proper on it. They were like, "Yo, we want to do this now." Keen, yeah, do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So obviously, I just, I just went with Villa. And to be fair, I was, I was when I when obviously my agent said Villa were on it, I was like, "Yeah, cool. Villa's a big club. Like, I mean, I've yeah. always liked Villa as a club." But um, they were, like, 13th in the champ, do you know what I'm saying? And I was thinking, like, mm. I'm not trying to go champ 13th. I want, like, I want to get promoted or something. Like that. Promoted, yeah. Promoted, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But um, I thought, you know what, like, there's some decent players. There. Like, Tammy was there. Tammy Abraham was there. Yeah. Jack Grealish was there. Obviously, we signed Tyro and Mings as well. And it was, like, well, we had John McGinn was there. So, yeah. yeah. Like, we had a good, good team. So, I'm thinking, like, yo, like, there's some good players there, man. Like, Conor Hurahan. I was thinking, yeah. like, some good players, that. Like, Good championship players here that can obviously get us up at the table. Yeah. So I signed in now and then hmm, bro, my debut man. Rusty, but I haven't played for like a year <laughs> and a half. Hey bro. <laughs> Wait, how how rusty? How rusty? Bro, like I can laugh about it now. Yeah. yeah. But if, if it wasn't for Tammy Abraham, yeah, yeah. I, would, I said look, bro, I'm going back to Wolves, man. I said it's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I said this is not for me. Because Brian played in like a year and a half, mm. but I'm thinking I've been a year and a half. But I've just watched Wolves bop every single team in the champ for yeah. a whole season, and obviously I've been training with these guys. But obviously training compared to matches is different. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And I made my debut for Villa, 
Bro, I'm boss. Oh, I didn't start. I oh, come on. The manager brought me on with 30 minutes to go. He was losing 2 0. And he brought a defender on, like a centre back. Bro, and the game was sticky. It was against Wigan. And you know, up north, like, the weather up north is it's a bit mad. Nasty. Like, windy. The stadium was open. The dark rain. Like, <laughs> just, I said, you know what I mean? I'm on it. But obviously, I come on. And the, the bro, it was, like I say, it was. The worst game I've ever played, bro. The worst yeah. game ever, I've ever played. Like, ball was coming into me now. Touching it. Just touch, tap, bro. Touch, <laughs> tap, bro. Bro, 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 bro. Bro, if you did this, you did this, bro. Yeah. I had a bit of a, um, I had a bit of a problem, um, like, on Boxing Day, innit? Mm. I had a bit of a problem on Boxing Day. And, bro, I got, I got licked in my head. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. And bro, I'm, I'm blaming my performance on this game. Listen, because bro, I was concussed. Bro, I was concussed. I'm not trying to blame the performance or something that happened. <laughs> bro, but bro, you know when you're concussed, yeah? Yeah. It stays in your brain for like a month or so, bro. Like, yeah. Cause bro, I, when I look back at the clips, I'm like, what? Was I, what was I even doing, bro? I was concussed. Like, you think it's bad? You think it's bad? Bro, you think it's bad? But it's it's true, bro. Like. <laughs> Do you know what, what I'm the saying? Ball into you. The ball coming into you, heavy touch. Bro, ball coming into me. I'm thinking I'm here to do a nice touch and just play, bro. Big touch, striker <laughs> coming, clamping me, bro. <laughs> Spinning 360 right now, hey. <laughs> bro, I was thinking, but it wasn't just once. That happened like a few times. I was thinking like, no, like, what's, what's actually like, what's going on here? Mm. But like after the game, you can imagine, bro, from the coach back to Villa, like, you know, like, in a, oh, before we was on the coach, I was in the change room, just like, mm. obviously, just, just like, it's disappointed, isn't it? And I know yeah. these fans are looking at me thinking, like, you know, we just got this guy from Wolves, Prem, like, who's this guy, like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I laugh about it now, but at the time, I was vexed, you know, I was human. But like I said, if it wasn't for Tammy, mm. you know what, like, I'm trying to go back to Wolves and just play 23s and just see at this season. And mm. but Tammy, to be fair to me, he, he was like, bro, like, Come on, man, because I played this time before at England, so he yeah. knew like what I'm capable of, innit? Oh, yeah. So he was like, bro, no, 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 no. Obviously, like starters, we, we like we, we 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 were all dead today. Like no one played well. Mm. It was like, um, bro, like you know how good you are. He was like, like just just obviously carry on training hard, and then yeah. um, things will come good in it. So, bro, I, I did that. I just I just stayed. I was like, no, nah, man, that's not me, bro. I did like put in the work, and then bro, like cut a long story short. But we ended up getting promoted from, from like 12th or 13th, and we ended up getting promoted, promoted in, that, in that season. So, and I was playing left back, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So I like turned it around, and bro, I was, I was playing, playing good, bro. Like literally left back, centre back. I was, I was playing well, and then bro, like the, the ended up getting promoted. So yeah, that like, speaks for itself. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah. to go from like there to there, like it was, it was, it was, it was good, man. Do you yeah, know what I mean? How did you feel? How did you feel as well? Like that's a big achievement because like. There's a, there's been a lot of players that's um, come and gone that's never been promoted or achieved anything in football. You know, they've just been there. But how did it feel you achieving that? You know, winning the playoffs and that getting promoted. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. Like, cause obviously I've done it the year before with Wolves, isn't it? I didn't play yeah, as yeah. much, but I've done mm. it the year before with Wolves and like to do it like back to back. Like, I was just, just, like, it was just. So good feeling still, man. Like, obviously, the second year was better because I played a bigger part. You know what I mean? So when we got ended up getting murdered, I was like, "Yo, like, it's, it's good, man." Do you know what I mean? It's, these are the kind of things you wanna you wanna achieve in, in your career because you wanna look back and be like, like "What have I actually done?" Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. Because yeah, I mean, and like I said as well, like, there's there's big players that's you know had a steady career in the Prem exactly. for, for ages and they've never won like anything. And for no, you exactly. to do that, that's that's a that's a big still. Yeah, no. Nah. Big achievement. Yeah. For real, man. And now you, like, with the music, let's touch up on the music. Like, I, like before, was he doing uh, music back in the day, even when he was playing football? Or was it, was it something that you just started doing? Yeah, like, well, I made a tune with um with one of my boys I went to school with. Like, my boy now, Cordy, Alpha. Oh, I made yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm Ainsley's bro. Ain Ainsley's bro, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, yeah. Mm. So, um, yeah, I done a tune with him, like, what, must have been, like, three, four years ago now. That's on YouTube, bro. That, that, that was all right. That song was, was calm still. But, um, but other than that, I haven't released anything um, apart from the one that I just released the other day. Yeah. But, yeah, so I've just got them two out. But, yeah, but I've, I've always, like, enjoyed music. Like, even from, like, young, innit? Like, I've always just enjoyed music. And, like, 
I don't know. I think life's just about timing, man. And, mm. you know, the time feels right for me now to, you know, like, just, there's no reason why I can't do both. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, of course. First and foremost, football's got to be the main priority. Yeah, yeah, main priority, for real. But, um, yeah, like, when the time's right, like, obviously, this time that we're in now, like, there's no football in it, so. There's yeah, no football, of course. There's no reason why I can't obviously venture into yes. other things. And then like at the end of the season when there's no football on there's, I'm gonna release more tracks then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, even with me, even with me. You know, I, was something I wanna um I wanna fucking do man. Yeah, even with me, like you know, football. Like after football, after we go training and after games, we've got so much time like on our hands, like obviously there's people who invest in businesses, people who invest in houses and whatnot. But for me, it was the same thing. Like, I've got so much time on my hands. Let me just do something that I enjoy, like, like a hobby on the side. And from then, yeah, I just started doing music myself, yeah. Mm. No, 100, man. Like you say, but people want to do investments and property and this, that, and the other, bro. Like, I'm all for mm. that. That's, that's wavy, but... Like, music's what I'm, like... If I buzz up, like, making tracks and listening to... You know what I'm saying? And writing yeah. songs. That's what I buzz up. That's my passion, isn't it? That's why... I feel as if that's just like, it's just more fun, more enjoyable, isn't it? So that's why I want to go down. Do you know what I'm saying? That's the route I want to go down. Course, yeah. Mm. Same, same here. So who do you listen to that? Obviously, you got that little R&B in and you kind of twist in you. So who mm -hmm. do you, I wouldn't say who you look up to, but who's your favourite artist that you, you know? Yeah, bro, I'll be real. I, mean, I do R&B, but I don't, I don't really listen to R&B too tough, you know? You don't listen I to R&B? No, I'm not, bro, I, I banged Trey songs out back in the day, but, like, recently, mm. like, last couple of years, I just listened to, like, just, like, obviously, if you know me, Gunner's my favourite, do you know what I mean? Gunner. Yeah, Gunner. Yeah, Gunner's the hardest. Um, Him, like, Baby, Lil Baby, Future, yeah. uh, Lil Key, Lil Got It, just, like, mm. Young Fuck, like, the, the ATO, the man from ATO, really, like, that's the kind yeah. of wave. Uh, I fuck with, but yeah, like I said, I, 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 I banged Trey songs like, back in the day, do you know what I mean? I used to, <laughs> Trey songs, sweet boy, oh no, I clocked it, of course it's a sweet boy, I clocked it, out of everyone who said Trey songs, you know, no, I clocked it, of hey, course it's a sweet boy, like, because yeah, no, when you're doing your beats and that, you obviously said um, you and your brother and your friend and that, when you're doing um, mm. making music and that, is it someone making the beats too, or like, you, you just, you, you get Bro, the beats off YouTube and you do your thing? Yeah, so... The, the, the song that I released, Worth It, that's um, mm. one producer called Trey Man, isn't it? But um, yeah. I found his beats on YouTube and then obviously I um, I messaged him in it on Gram and then obviously we've got like a little partnership now, a little, um, where he just sends me like all these beats for like, beats. at the yeah. beginning I've got them from YouTube but now I've got like, now I chat to him on like WhatsApp and that like, he's cool, man. And he mm. just sends me, he sends me all these beats because the beats he makes, it, it, it just, it just clicks with like, like my voice, what, what voice. Yeah. yeah, I just hear these beats and it's just easy to write a song quick, you know what I mean? So, now he's, he's wavy, so yeah, man. Yeah, but you know what I was going to ask you, though? Like, just give us a little, like, little something, something. Yeah, I'm going to play you something, innit? Mm. One sec, one sec. <laughs> Two sets. Hey, Deontay! One sec, bro, one sec. Oh. My boy's coming. Okay. I don't have to do with the... Um... The, te the tech is... Yeah, the, the tech, tech is the tech, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, Joseph! <laughs> bro, like, the computers and that, I just jump on the mic and just lay vocals. <laughs> to... You get me? See, see me? No, of course, if I knew how to sing, yeah, if I could sing, bro... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Lighting it up right now. Yeah, this is... Hey, bro. Mm. Hey, Yeah, is that you, Yeah. Okay, okay. It sounds sound, sound too dang. I'm gonna deep it properly, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's go, let's go. Would you in my life, but I feel special. It's your mama, you're so on your body, you deserve it. What's that? 
Yeah. I was speaking about it on the instrument. Just keep on going. Uh, look, 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 the, the, the technician, the tech, look, he's flopping, look, he's flopping. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I heard, I heard, um, I heard Tammy's got a bit, I heard Tammy's got a bit as well singing, of course. Yeah, yeah, Tammy, Tammy's hard, man. Yeah. You can sing, bro. Yeah, you can sing, man. It's actually hard, but let me just play this worth. Nothing. Oh, look, he's panicking on the crowd. <laughs> on the pressure. <laughs> yeah, this is the thing that's out, isn't it? Right, let's go. <laughs> Obviously, yeah, Spotify, Apple Music, it's literally all platforms. It's out. Yeah. Yeah. Man, go stream that. It's out. Nah, I, nah, nah, of course, that's a madness. You see me? I, like, from this first song, I knew you could do a bit of that, but I didn't know it was dope like that. Big man thing, I didn't know it was dope like that. Yeah. Bro, like, oh, obviously, oh. I, I'm, not, I'm not one to big myself up, man, but fucking, nah, the, the tracks that I've obviously I've got wavy. Mm. I've got, like, I'd say, like, like five, six tracks that are wavy. Yeah. I bet you can't wait. I bet you can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait. But you like you, you used to like you kick balls or you, you you know how I probably how I feel, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just can't wait. Yeah, to, yeah, of course, of course. You know, you know, you know what? You know sometimes you know when you've made a a sick track. Sometimes yeah, you no, go back, back. Listen to, you listen to tracks and you think, um, yeah, this one's a bit thingy. But you see when you make that track, you know as an artist, like wow, this one, this one's mm. mad. Trust see me, when you're writing, oh. see when you're writing, yeah, of course. Yeah. Do you, do you do um do you start off with melodies first, then put the words in, or do you just write? Nah, just write, man. Just write straight away. Yeah. Yeah, just write straight away, man. Nah, well, what about you? How, how do you do? It? I used to no me. I just write straight away, but write it comes with melodies. Away, yeah. So people, yeah, people normally say, "Bro, how do you do that?" I said, "I don't know." But when I've been in the studio with other people. Like they, they like to do they get the melody on. Yeah, I'm thinking, how, how do you just not do that? Then put the words in. Put the words but in. It's yeah, mad, that's, like. that's techie. Yeah, I just the words. I'm just get the words straight away, right? Quick. Everyone's everyone's different with it, innit? But how how's how's people like friends and family and people at football like um? What are they like knowing that you do music and that? Yeah, no, nah, bro. Like my my brothers are always telling me, bro, do both, man, do both. Obviously, mm. football's not like a. A long career. Obviously, they're always telling me to make sure you like try get to the top, like put your all in with football. Yeah, yeah but, of course. Um, they're saying like, because it's not like it doesn't really take too much out of me. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I come in no, here. No, no. For example, that worth it track. Like how I do it is, I, obviously, I heard the beat. 
Then I'd write. It took like me and my boy what an hour to write it, and then he'd like yeah. I'd voice note myself the track, and then I'd like go away, and you're gonna be done now. I used to, I'd go in the shower and I'd put it through my sneakers, and I'd practice in the shower, isn't it? Wait, wait, what? You, you go, you go in the shower, you, you slap with the speakers. Get in the shower, slap with the speakers. Have a little 15 20 minute shower, clock it, and then obviously when I'm getting dressed and that, I just keep pulling it, pulling it, clock it, and then the next day, next day it comes easy, bro. Like, boom, just record it. That's, yeah, that's what I've done with the, the, that's what I've done with the work it track. It took us like what two days to record it and like mix, master it, and then it was just there, ready for me to like drop it during like the time we we're in now. And it was, it was, it was quick, yeah, no, no, it's cold. Like, the, this is the best times, like you said, to make your tracks, man. It's the best times, but obviously. Yeah, you're going back to football soon, or probably you're back at football now, so it's going to be not as difficult, but you're getting mm. the time, you're going to time. find time for this. Like, you know, a lot of people talk talk nonsense in this game, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, like, is he even focused on football, is he, do you know what I mean? So, I, I, was, getting, I was getting the same thing. Jarring, said, isn't it? Listen, my first love, I said, my first love, you can never question me about football, my first love is football. Man. I'm doing something out of football that I like doing, so whatever I do in my spare time, let me enjoy that, like. Because when, when I'm on a football pitch, I'm giving it my all. I'm, I'm not like, I'm, I'm I can just not like, no, joking. No, trust yeah. me, I can relate. It's, it's annoying, man, but that's what it is, isn't it? We've just got to play the game, I suppose. Just, mm. you know what I'm saying? Just like, well, right time. So, like, the time that we're in now was just, it was just like, it was nice for me to, obviously, it's not nice for what's going on in the world, but like, no, me not. personally, do you know what I mean? It was a good time yeah. for me to drop music and then, just like, you know, like, at the end of the season and stuff like that, I sometimes just drop more. But I don't know, I'll flood it. You know what I mean? I'll flood that end no, of the season. Of course, of course. You know what I mean? So, so it looks like it looks like everyone's going back now. Like, obviously, let's yeah. take away, let's go away from the music now. Like you know, like mm. when you, when football's done and like when we get our holidays, like where's your fav um, favorite destination? Where do you like traveling to, or where do you like going to chill out, relax, right. and just enjoy yourself? Yeah, I like the other side of the world, man. Like America, like. Like Brazil, do you know what I mean? Flipping yeah. Puerto Rico, Dominique, you know what I'm saying? I like, I like, yeah. I've been to the Bahamas as well, but the Bahamas is nice. But, um, I'm probably, I'm probably just gonna just, like go LA, Miami, um, mm. Bahamas, Jamaica, just like, just places yeah. like that, man. You know what I'm saying? I like that, I like that side of the world. I don't, I don't really like Europe, man, you know, like, yeah, Marbella, like, I like Marbella, that's yeah, no, nah, man, don't like all that. Don't get me wrong, like, the man don't want to go. Uh, but I don't really like all that. You see me, <laughs> Miami, LA, them places. <laughs> Yo, them places. <laughs> I ask Tish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Miami, <laughs> LA. <laughs> let me just Different. let me just do it one more time. Miami, LA. <laughs> that, uh, listen, cool. That's Aye, my it's different that's, out there. Uh, that's my goal. You know them places. Obviously, oh, you do bro. you do the little Paris and that. Like you know when you get a weekend off and that. Them, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. 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 But when the it's book. time to you really it wind me. down, and have fun. <laughs> <laughs> you go Miami. Place. No, hundred, hundred. Miami, LA. It's just different out there. The weather, the air, the, the vibe. Even you know what? I don't deep it. See, Americans, yeah. They're so down to earth, man. They're humble as well. They're oh, so like, you get me. They're so and cool. They, like, like, as soon as they know you're from like England and London, but they just take to you like more. Like, what? You know what <laughs> Don't let them know stop on that one. Like, like, I even put the accent on purpose. Yes. <laughs> yes. Trust me. London, Trust me. London, UK. Oh my God, it's from, it's from UK. Like, yeah. yeah, bro. I talk, bro. When I chat to Diggs over oh, his mouth, I talk like I'm from, you get, I'm like, yo, like, proper London. <laughs> and it's done. It's done. Nah, nah, it's mad, right. though. Nah, that's what we like going, though. You get me? That's what we like me. Yeah, nah, like, nice no, it's nice of him. And like, like Bahamas, come, come back to football, Bahamas. Like, Bahamas. Have you been to Bahamas? I, I ain't been. Oh, lovely, man. The yeah. Food out there. I got one of, one of my, um, one of like, you got my close boy. He lives out there, isn't it? Rello. Bro. Yeah. See, like, we went there, but because he's actually from there, he took us to, like, everywhere. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, we weren't, we didn't go there as, like, um, as, like, a holiday resort kind of thing. We went to, like, proper sea, Bahamas, got, like, yeah. some of this food, like, well, proper, man. He took us around. It was wavy, bro. Oh, yeah. was nice. No, nah, proper things, proper things. Don't. You see, Tish? Tish, yeah. we're going to Miami, yeah? Tish wants to eat 
the same thing that we eat in UK oh, London. Like, bro. this wants to go back to San. I said, no, this, we want the soul food. We want like That's... the food, food. <laughs> He said, let's well, go. This is always like, let's go. Hackers. Right, no, 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 forget that. We do that in ends. Like right That's now, what I'm I, want, I want soul food in my belly. Like, Tisha, he's killing me, bro. He's, you know what I'm saying? No, but it's, it's cold, though. Let's go. The goal, going back to the football, obviously, yeah, you're back now. And you've played with a lot of good players in that. Mm -hmm. And um, who would you say? Was one of obviously he touched up on Drenthe, but who would you say was one of your toughest opponents in the game in the whole 90 minutes? Toughest opponent? Mm. Um, I'd say Aguero, man. Aguero, yeah. Bro, everyone knows how good he is, bro. Everyone knows how good he is, but bro, playing against him, different. The guy is just sharp and strong, and where I'm tall, he's short, so like I can't really get my. Oh, um, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Low with it, like he's low center of gravity, sharp and like he's finishing's fake. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's finishing. Smart, fake. smart, smart movement in that. Oh yeah, smart movement. He's clocked that position, mm. isn't it? He's clocked it. Like he's, he's yeah. just movement, touch. He's just, he's just, yeah. He's just a complete. He's a complete striker, man. You know what I'm saying? Even though he's mm. short, he just, bro, it's, it's different, man. Unbelievable. If you, was to, if you was to give us, if you was to give us um, the best eleven players you played with so far, obviously you're still on your um, journey, football yeah. journey. But so far, your best eleven from goalkeeper to um, strikers. Okay. Um, obviously, I'm gonna say Jordan, Jordan Pickford, Everton. Yeah. Played with my England, bro. Tech, his technique. He's got better technique than me, and I'm an outdoor player. <laughs> like, you know what I'm He's fake. Left foot, mm. zinging balls, bro. Like, all kinds of clubs, like, zinging. Mm. Bro, different, man. So, yeah, him in goal. And, um, I'd say left back. <coughs> um, he's... Left back. Okay, I'm going to go for... Matt Doherty at, at Wolves. I know he's right foot and he plays right wing. Yeah. When I was at Wolves, he played left back sometimes. And, of like just out and out full back, he's 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 cold. cold. Yeah, he's mm. cold. Chips him with like goals and assists as well. Like he's cold. Um, centre backs, two centre backs. I'm gonna have to go Connor Cody, you know, at Wolves, bro. Underrated, yeah. underrated. Him and um, him and. Uh, I want to go Willy Bolly, bro. Him and Willy Bolly <laughs> at Wolves, yeah. man. There's no, there's no. Oh, he's he's big, you know. But he's big, but he can move, bro. Yeah. Bro, he's just he can move and he's got feet. Like he's, he's bro, he's top draw, man. Mm. He's top draw. Willy Bolly, yeah. Willy Bolly and Cody, top draw. Right back. Um, I'm not gonna say right back. Right back. Right back. Okay, he's playing centre back right now, but I'm gonna have to go with my boy Dominic Ayofa. Because we come through at the um legs. Yeah, bro, legs. Like basically we come through at walls at the same time. I was on the left left back, he was right back. Yeah. Bro, this guy had a flexism but bro, different man. Different, like he's just no one can get round him. This guy looks forward, but he's a big horse, bro. He's <laughs> <laughs> a big horse. And then the centre mids. I'm gonna go three in midfield. Ruben Nevis, one of them. Mm. Different technique. Does that different mad? It's cold. Um yes. Ruben lost his cheek, played over my England. The guy is yeah. six foot five and just well, got feet, power, everything. He's crazy, man. He's good, man. Big baller. Yeah, big baller. And um I'm gonna put Jack Grealish in the, in the centre mid as well. Mm. Mm. Yeah, cold man. That midfield's even crazy. That midfield there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's scary. Like it's different. And then um, on the wings, bro, left wing. I'm gonna say my boy Jordan Graham. You know, well, you, you know Jordan Graham. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like, oh. Back in the day, like when we were young, he was wavy, and then obviously. 
you come to Wolves, he was at Villa back in the day, and you come to Wolves, and then the season he broke into the Wolves uh, first team in the champ, bro, I think he got like, he, he made like 12 appearances before he got like, he done his knee, innit? It was long, yeah, innit? yeah. He made 12 appearances and he got like 12 assists and like 12 man of the match, bro. The guy lit it up for the time he was <coughs> lit it up differently. Bro. People like, he was getting man subbed, fullbacks were getting subbed at half time and that, bro, like no banner. <laughs> Diff, bro. Just too wavy with it, man. So I'm gonna say Jordan left wing, um, up top. I'm gonna go my, uh, go for my boy Benek, Benek of Phobi. Striker, striker. Bagsman, bro. Bagsman. Bagsman. Like, it's a bit unfortunate he's had a few injuries, bro, because you never, he, yeah, he would have done it. He, he's, he's still, he's still young, he's still a decent age, you know. I'm sure he's gonna like, kick on again, but yeah, no, Bagsman, world record's crazy. And then on the other wing, other wing, um, other wing, I could go Damari Gray. Guy is mm, too Damari. flary. And yeah, Damari Gray will line you up. Bro. He'll show you line, then cut inside and he'll smack it. <laughs> he it. The double step, <laughs> take it, chop back, and just whack, bro. <laughs> Telling you, like he's, bro. You know, I like my wingers with, with, with technique. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not. Know, you know what I'm saying? He's got like his techniques, crazy man. Like shooting abilities, mad. He's got, he's got flair. He's got, you know, he's hard, man. So, yeah, that's my eleven, bro. That's your eleven. That's my eleven, yeah. Four three three. I think. Three, no, who was the three up front? Three up front. Jordan Graham on the left, Benic Afobi up top, and Damari Gray on the right. Yeah, mad, 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 mad. You know, that you know, you know that team's mad still. That's goals got low, midfield are getting goals, and the flats just defending, looking up shot. <laughs> nah, nah, hey, that's cold, that's cold. So what you got? What you got for the? And what you got planned for the rest of the day? Rest of the day, um, just gonna get in the gym. Do another session, mm. gym yeah. session, mm. then come out, eat, cool off, and just come in the studio again, man. Yeah. Try to come in like pretty much every day, whether it's for like an hour or two hours, whatever. I don't like doing long sessions, man. No, like, of course I don't want to yeah. artists be doing long sessions till like. No, it happens, it happens. You know night. what? I, I've done it before. Like, have you ever got writer's block? Bro, yeah. <laughs> Mitch, come back next day. You want to come back next day, bro? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's even, it's it's even the writer's block, yeah? Hey, 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 of course, it's even the writer's block, yeah? Just know, if yeah. it's longer than 20 minutes, come back the next day. Because it's, it's just going to be longer. It's just going to be longer. Bro, you're not forcing it. You're not forcing yeah. it. Man. It's, it's going to sound dead. Trust me. Trust nah, hey, of course, nah. Thank you so much for this little chat, this interview, man. Nah, thanks for having me, man. It was good. Nah, nah, it was cool, man. Hey, we're going to catch up. Stay in touch, though, man. I'm going to shout you. Nah, for sure, man. Uh, for love, sure, bro. For sure, bro. Take care. Uh, love, bro. Bless, man. Uh, cool. You too. Cool. Safe, man.